One of the successes of the show, I think, was how Samantha was kept alive. And I loved when Sarah, when Carrie would text her and and it just felt like her voice. And when the flowers appeared, you felt her heart very much alive. I thought it was very respectful of the character and uh, and and really kind of a, a gift to the fans who loved her. Talk to me, any of you, about um, how that laid out and specifically also who wrote her dialogue for those for those text messages because they it was pitch perfect to me you could hear her you could hear kim cattrall saying those words samantha wrote it <laughs> I, I, anyone can take this on but i think what i what i want to say about that and everybody can chime in of course is that um you know there's this fourth person and she's absent from their lives now but we i feel like you know every new person that joined us there was like a piece of, you know, you know, Karen's character's directness and, and, and Nicole's sort of effervescence and Sarita's sort of grounded, very sensual, like, sultry and sensual. Like everybody brought a piece of Samantha unknowingly. You know, everyone was like, you're the new Samantha. And I, we were like, no, no, they're the new Seema. They're the new Naya, you know, right. they're the new LTW. Right. So I think, I feel like, I think we all feel like, even if we weren't sure that it ultimately, the way it was threaded through, it felt really right, but everybody else speak to it. Too. I agree. I mean, I, I think the other thing to, to, I mean, not that Michael is everything, but you know, Michael wrote those lines because Michael is all of us, you know? I mean, yeah. I don't mean to, to mean that the other writers don't contribute because obviously we all have storylines that are their own personal storylines, as well as you know, their creativity, but, but Michael cares so deeply about all of our characters. And I don't think that he would have ever wanted anything less than what you're saying, Andy, which was to have her be a presence that was respectful and also have us deal with what that's like to have someone who's gone from your life. Because unfortunately that is something that does happen in life. People separate for different reasons and you lose friends. And that's a hard thing that's very rarely written about. So I, I felt like it was respectful and and I relate to it certainly what I loved um, about um, it was what, what that that yeah, it sure. sort of stayed in line it was aligned with what I feel like sex in the city and and just like that does which is it it um brings to the surface that um even though friendships or relationships change there's still that love there and I just felt like um, Samantha was such a loving presence in the story still through all 10 episodes and it not just handled respectfully but authentic to how this story was created years ago and to how um, the stories of these women and these friendships have developed over time is consistent so I, I loved it I mean I remember sitting at the table reads and thinking to myself Wow, this this character is still so endeared to me, and my and I have such a, a heart connection to who Samantha was and is still, and I think that 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 is a credit to the writers and and how it was handled. Um, I I wonder, uh, Cynthia and Kristen, if either of you have heard from Kim Cattrall about her reaction to how Samantha was handled or or anything relating to the show. Nope. No. 